into this menu a delicious cookie recipe you can roll the dough for. Amazingly soft and chewy, gingerbread, cookies. Lei ho, lei ho, that's how's it going in Cantonese, or should I say ho ho ho. I'm Will Young from youngmancooking.com. Welcome to the channel where you can cook with confidence, except today we're not cooking anything, we're essentially baking some delicious gingerbread that's perfect for the holiday season and it's just as fun to make as it is to eat. Let's begin. 525 grams or roughly about 3 cups of all-purpose flour. 1. Sift the flour into a large mixing bowl. This will prevent any clumps. 1 teaspoon baking soda 2 teaspoons ground ginger 1 teaspoon cinnamon half teaspoon nutmeg half teaspoon salt Sift into the flour Whisk to combine In another mixing bowl, place in one stick of room temperature plant-based butter, about 115 grams. Half teaspoon vanilla extract. Half cup blackstrap molasses. Quarter cup maple syrup. Three quarter cups brown sugar. Two tablespoons coconut or almond milk. Whisk vigorously to combine. Transfer the wet mixture to the dry mixture. I must admit, I didn't leave the stick of butter out long enough for it to really reach room temperature, so it did kind of separate a little bit while whisking. I was considering refilming that portion, however, it does kind of happen in real life, and this recipe is actually very forgiving. So let's continue on, because that end result is going to be amazing. Combine well to form a dough. Use your hands to knead the dough for a couple of minutes. The dough should not be sticky and doesn't need to be perfectly smooth. It should have a Play-Doh-like consistency. Roll the dough into a big ball, then cover it and place it in the fridge for about 30 minutes. Lightly flour a work surface. Divide the dough into three portions. This will make it easier to work with. Roll the dough into a ball and slightly flatten. Then use a rolling pin or a jar to roll the dough. I prefer the cookies to be a little thicker, so we're rolling the dough into about a quarter inch thickness. Use your favorite cookie cutters to cut out the shapes. Free the gingerbread peeps out of captivity. Carefully use a spatula to scoop them up. Transfer the cookies onto a baking tray lined with parchment paper. Leave a little space in between the cookies for they will expand slightly. 
roll the remaining dough into a ball. Use the rolling pin to flatten into about a quarter inch thickness. Cut out more cookies with the remaining dough. Carefully free the cookies and place them onto the baking tray. Add the remaining dough to the next portion and repeat. Keep in mind how thick or thin the dough is will affect cooking time. Continue to free the cookies and place them onto the baking tray. This recipe makes roughly about 25 to 30 cookies. Use a second baking tray once you fill up the first. Repeat until you run out of dough. Let the cookies chill in the fridge while you preheat the oven to 350. Once preheated, bake the cookies in the oven for about 8 to 10 minutes. The hardest part about this recipe is waiting to eat the cookies. Allow the cookies to rest for a few minutes. Carefully transfer the cookies onto a cooling rack. This step is important as moisture will start to build on the baking tray. Allow the cookies to cool completely. Carefully transfer the cookies into airtight containers until you're ready to decorate. The cookies should keep well for about a week or two, or you can freeze them. To make the icing, combine one cup of icing sugar with one tablespoon of coconut or almond milk and a splash of vanilla. You can add a little bit more milk if needed, but the icing should feel very thick. Carefully transfer the icing into a small bag. When you're ready to decorate, cut the tiniest hole ever because that will give you a little bit more precision. Decorate the cookies to your heart's content. I'm sprinkling this one with some dried coconut, but remember you can use whatever toppings or fixings you like. It's definitely attempting to make a young man cooking, but I think he looks a little bit more like an old man cooking. Repeat with the rest of the cookies.
plate the cookies and serve, or make it into an activity so your guests can decorate their own. You can now really roll out the dough on these cookies with absolute confidence. This is definitely just as much a treat to eat as it is to create. That is definitely Christmas in a cookie. These guys are really nice, soft and chewy, and they're not overly sweet, and yet you still taste that delicious molasses and that maple syrup that adds this extraordinary cotton candy kind of flavor. There's that spicy tingle from the ginger, and of course, that amazing aroma from the cinnamon, the nutmeg, the brown sugar gives it this beautiful caramel flavor and this earthy brown color. The icing just adds a little bit more of that sweetness as well as just a hint of that vanilla. And you can decorate them however you like with whatever you like. This could be a really great activity as well as a delicious snack to enjoy. I think these guys are waiting to go to a hot chocolate or matcha latte spa if you love easy, delicious, simple recipes like that, then definitely check out, take a peek inside, or pick up your copy of one of the three Young Men Cooking cookbooks, as well as you can check out the Young Men Cooking merch or plant-based sushi masterclass. I'll leave a link in the description box below, or you can visit youngmencooking.com. If you're not already subscribed with that notification bell clicked, definitely do so, and I'll see you in the next episode.